Smokey here, and today I'm really excited to bring another figure review to you all. Today we're going to review together the legendary Super Saiyan Son Goku by SH Figure Arts. This has to be one of the most anticipated figures of the year for me. When they first announced it, I honestly couldn't believe it. The internet, had there were so many comments on the internet, I could tell everyone was extremely excited when this figure was announced. This honestly has to be one of my favorite forms for Goku. Um, like his Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4 are definitely one of my favorite forms. But like this look when he went 100% full power against Frieza on Namek while the planet was being destroyed. That right there just that was one of my most iconic looks for me. Um, it just was so nostalgic growing up and like seeing that whole saga and just falling in love with the series so seeing this in figure form and it's in my hands now i'm so excited and yeah let's get this figure open we'll look at the box art we'll go into details articulations and i will give my final opinions at the end so let's check this out starting with the front of the package we have a beautiful illustration of goku powering up looks really good on the side we have goku doing his kamehameha on the back, we got Goku doing a few different um, poses and this looks really good. So let's open this figure up, which I did in the last review um, for size comparisons, but I put it back. So this is gonna be like my first opinions on this figure like I do with the other ones. So I'm excited. Okay, so we got Goku open and yeah, right away this figure looks amazing. Like it looks so phenomenal. Just, oh my goodness, look at the craftsmanship of this. This looks good. Yeah, let's get this figure out. And yeah, let's see, hold on. Actually, I'm gonna get a more zoom in approach so we can really get a good look at him. Okay, so here we go. Going into details for Goku, right away, this figure, like it looks amazing, but we can see together that the chest is lighter, which I have to admit, is a little bit of a bummer. But the positive about it is that um, in natural light, you really don't notice it that much. It's now, you know, I'm using harsher lights to, you know, be able to, so you all can see the details of the figure better. Um, but you can see that it definitely looks a little bit lighter. And I, I read online that that's because they used a different plastic. And honestly, that isn't too bad, but I wish they didn't do that because honestly, this figure would be, as of now, you know, 10 out of 10. But I'm still grateful that they made it. So yeah, let's check him out further. His face looks amazing. Like if you just look at the head sculpt, it looks like it came straight out of the anime. It's really nice. I like that they put the scratches on like his chest and on his arms. And there's even, you, you can't really see it too well, but he even has a few scratches on his head right there, which is really nice. You could tell that they definitely painted the pants to give them, you know, like an aura look. Like it's got a really nice aura. And yeah, it just looks really good all around. You know, besides the chest being a little bit lighter, which isn't too bad in certain situations. Um, you can see they put scratches on his pants, even on his boots. They have some stress lines on the back. You know, you can just see that they put a lot of effort and attention into this Goku. Even the hair looks a bit lighter. And just, oh man, they put so much detail that like, I just wonder why, what, what happened here with the chest? And is that something they're gonna fix in future 
um, you know, copies. Because if they do, I definitely will get another one. But, I mean, honestly, this figure just looks, it looks amazing. You know, disregarding that part on the chest, this, oh, man. The weight of it, it feels really heavy. Like, it's got a good weight. It just looks, oh, it just looks so good. I also wanted to show you all that this part right here is made of soft goods. So all of this is soft right here. Even this part is soft as you can see. So when you put your leg in there, you can actually get in there and move it. It's like malleable. So you definitely can move that around. And it's nice. Um, the only thing that I wish they did do was maybe glued, somehow attached or glued this rubber, like these two pieces together, like made it one. Because there is times where like, you can see there is some gapping in there and you can see the, uh, the body a bit. See, especially like right there. So I do wish that they attach those together. But when you put them down, it's, Hardly noticeable, if not at all. And now let's take a look at Goku's accessories. So we'll put him right here. And he does come with five alternate hands. Here is his first set of hands, which looks really good. His first set of hands do look really good. Here's his second hit um, set of hands, which are like an open, open palm hands. Which looks really good as well. You see the little details and the damage on there. So those look good. Comes with a pair of grabbing hands. Looks really nice. And sorry about my voice, I am still um, recovering from a cold. So my voice might sound a little bit different. And here's his next set of hands. And I'm just happy that they put in all these different sets of hands. So you can get them in pretty much any dynamic pose you want and you know replicate those scenes uh, from Namek when he was fighting Frieza. So this is really cool. And then lastly, he has his Kamehameha hands, which I believe that those are what the other ones were too. But this one does have a little peg inside of it. So you can connect his Kamehameha piece on there like this. And then you would just attach, pretty much go in there and attach all these plugins. So let's see. Okay, so I guess each one fits accordingly. You can't just put them in any one. So I'll have to do that off camera. But you do plug in these pieces. But yeah. Those are his hands. He also comes with three alternate head sculpts. Here's his first one. And that one looks really good. His smirking face. I really like that. Like just the paint. It looks really good. Super anime accurate. I think this is the best that they've, you know, have done with the faces. I love the new tech and just how they um, approached the facial recognition for the characters because they just all look really good. But here's his angry face. And then lastly, he comes with his yelling face. And that looks really good as well. And you can see he also comes with an alternate head. So you can attach the face scope like that. And that looks really good. I love that, like when he's powering up or just screaming, uh, that looks amazing. 
And then he also comes with a alternate hair. So you can pop this off as well. And he does have a alternate hair that you can put on just for different styles, like different looks. Oh, you know what? This hair only fits, okay, that makes sense. This hair only fits on the other Goku head sculpt. So for this one, And that's, oh, I love that. So you can just get all your favorite looks for him. And for his articulation, Goku can look up about that far, which is really good. So he looks up well. He can look down. Here, let me just push in his head a little bit more. He can look down that much, which is really good. So he can look all the way down. His neck can bend to the sides like that, which is really good. He can turn his head all the way around, which is really nice. His arms do come up this far, so you can get them almost to about a Y pose, but they do come up really far. He does have a upper bicep swivel, which is really nice. Double jointed elbows, which bends really good. He does have wrist pegs in there, but they are small, but you can move them. They move good. He also has really nice butterfly joints, which I can say these are definitely some of the better ones that they've done. And it's just perfect to get like those Kamehameha poses, which is really nice. You can just see his hands actually go you know, front, like they're perpendicular to each other. Like they look really good. So I'm glad that they enhanced the butterfly joints right there. And he can also bend forward this much with his ab crunch. So he has a decent ab crunch and he bends back about that far, which you can see is decent. He goes side to side about that much. And he does move at the lower part of his uh, abdomen as well. And that twists around, so you can twist him. So he's really dynamic overall. Like his, just his posing's great. His leg does kick forward about that far. So you can kick it up really good. It goes out about that much, which is nice because they do add this plastic or rubber piece. So you can really get his leg up there really far if you want to and just get him ready for some dynamic kicks. Um, his leg can go back about this far, but it is hindered from this right here. So you can't do it too much and his knees are double jointed, so you can bend his knee all the way back, which is really nice. And they do go out about, so you can get them both out like this. So you can get his legs out relatively far. And he does have a really nice ankle rocker, which is really good. See, that's a really nice ankle rocker. And he can't twist at the boot right here. That is locked in. But yeah, overall, his articulation is really good. This figure is just, uh, it's amazing. I don't really know what else I can say about it. Um, this is just an overall amazing figure. And for size comparison, here is Goku next to Metal Cooler. You can see that he definitely has a, it, honestly, it looks like from shoulder to shoulder, he's definitely shorter than Cooler, 
but with the hair, he definitely um, gets the height advantage. But both of them look really good together. Just amazing. And here he is also next to Super Saiyan Vegeta. You can see that he looks really good as well next to Vegeta. But yeah, they both look really good. And let's see who else I got. I don't really have too many um, figures to compare it with right now. But I also have, here's a Mezco Mr. Freeze. You can see Mr. Freeze is definitely a lot taller. Um, but yeah, no, this figure is amazing. It just, oh. It scales well with everything and it's just oh it's beautiful like i don't know why just the paint apps on it it's just oh, really detailed and for my final impressions i have to say that it is overall probably in my top 10 favorite figures of the year this figure is overall just amazing in the articulation department the paint apps for the most part accessories just everything. The only thing that I don't like about it is that they used a different paint for the chest. So in certain lightings, it can look a little bit of an eyesore, but overall, you know, for what this figure is, it it's something that I can ignore. I love this figure a lot. I think it's just amazing in every way. I'm having a great time just posing it and putting it in different stances. And yeah, this figure is just amazing. So if you haven't bought it yet, or if you haven't made a decision, I definitely recommend getting this one. Besides the paint on the chest, I think that this figure is almost perfect. So I will rate this figure a 9.5 out of 10. And yeah, I recommend it for anyone who's a Dragon Ball Z fan or if you were on the fence about getting it. Thank you everybody so much. I really appreciate you all watching my videos and subscribing. I hope you all have a great holiday. If you're not, you know, you can't be with family. I hope that you just enjoy your holidays, you know, the, the best you can and just everybody be safe out there on your travels. So thank you so much, everybody, and have a great day. Thank you.